But in terms of your network propagation and what tips you maintain, you always need to sort of maintain all optionality of all tips. And the actual tip doesn't really become apparent until you get to the finalization horizon, as we call it. So when we're talking about peers in a single blockchain, the way they do it is they just say, hey, who's like the peer that has the highest TD? Mm -hmm. And then they basically just sync to that point. But in our case, we have to ask who is a peer which has ATD or a branch that I don't have that exists before the finalization horizon. So we call it before the fray. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to sync the fray. We can't mm -hmm. just sync the tip, I right? See. So there's many graphs and many options that we have to deal with in the fray mm -hmm. because if there's a contentious fork and it's like a 50-50, I can't just be like, oh, this guy has the longer chain because I can't switch to this guy. So then if this other option happens and they broadcast that block, I'm going to say, oh, that's a dangling block. Mm -hmm. Now that actually hurts me because this may be the winner. And I just at statistically, you just randomly got this guy, right? But this guy ultimately doesn't win. So I'm on sort of like a fractured tip. So like I need to be able to figure out as quickly as I can that this option also exists so that when this broadcast comes in, I don't see that as an hanging block. Mm. I see that as an appendable block, which may switch my choice of where I think the longest tip is. But I can only do that if I have both options in the graph, right? So in the fray, we must have all options. Whereas in a single blockchain, they only ever pick one.